Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my pets. So this isn't exactly super schlake related, but a lot of people were requesting this video because Charlie has been in a few of my videos as well as my chickens, so. So he's asleep right now, sort of. Hi Charlie. He is, he's like, pet me. Oh, you're so cute. He's a eight month old Tibetan Spaniel. And we got him after a little, like a few months after my older dog had passed away from cancer. And he is the sweetest little baby in the world. I love him so much. And um, yeah, I mean, he is the funniest dog ever. He um, took my stuffed animal. So that was my horse stuffed animal. And he's basically claimed it as his own now and he loves to play with it. He actually tore out the, one of the eyeballs and you know, he's a puppy, so he likes to chew on everything. You're just so sleepy right now. I'll have to get some video of you in action when you're <laughs> peppy. This is breakfast time. We play with our food and we don't actually eat it. Just play with it for a while. Charlie, what are you doing, you silly goose? <laughs> this is my other doggo. This is Stetson. He is, I think, 13 and a half. He's also a Tibetan Spaniel and um, he's super adorable. He's such a foodie. You love food so much. And yeah. So these are my two desk buddies. So this is so this is Sumi, and he is a Koi Beta male, and I got him at Petco. He's super adorable, and he's in this heated tank, and he really hates filters, and so does Kiko, so I just basically keep them without filters, but they do have heaters, and yeah, this isn't like the most beautiful setup, but it does its job, and I change the water and everything. And Kiko is doing pretty well. Sorry, there's like water conditioner in the background. That's why it looks so weird. Um, she does have a tumor though on her pectoral fin on the other side. Um, so I'm a little upset that she has a tumor, but I think she'll be okay for a while. So these are my two Koi Betas. She is a female and he is a male and you have to keep some sort of separation. <laughs> so I have a random calculus sheet just to keep them separated so they don't flare at each other and get stressed out. They stay in the coop in the winter, but in the summer we have a run that I built for them that they go out into and they have more space to run around and eat all the vegetation. So we saw a lot of snow here, so this is the run right now, so they can't go in obviously because it's like ice now, but it was snow. And as you can hear, those are the girls. Hi ladies! And this is all of them, so we have eight chickens. And I just brought in some vegetable scraps that I'm gonna give them from our kitchen. They know they're getting food. Come on, no, 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 Come on, hey. Oh, Okay, so <laughs> this right here is Cupcake, and she is a buff Brahma. And then right here is Rosie, and <laughs> she is super sweet. She is a barred rock. This is Sandy, she is a white leghorn. This is Sprinkles, she's a speckled Sussex. That is Daisy, she is a... Um, that is Black Beauty. She is a black jersey giant. She has like really pretty blue that like comes out of her feathers. This is Coco. She is a lice, laced lichen dote. And Daisy is a white chicken. If she'd actually come out, you'd see that she has feathers. Unfortunately, I don't own my own horse, but um, in this, I'm riding Edgar, and he's just a horse at my barn that I ride at. I started riding here around eight months ago. I rode somewhere else before that, but due to COVID, they had to close since I was riding at a college. 
So I started right here and I really like it because I've improved a lot on my jumping and I did a lot more flat work at the other barn that I was at and before I was there I did dressage. So I really hope that this summer and when COVID gets a little bit better I can do some show jumping. for watching i hope that you enjoyed meeting all of my pets even though not all of them well edgar at least are not mine i do take care of the chickens basically by myself and i am the primary i would say primary caretaker for my dogs because my family isn't always home during the week check out my website lots of new customs have been updated and don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.